At LISC we are incredibly proud of our achievements and therefore each month we are publishing a blog post detailing these achievements. Um, going forward I would like to um, provide videos in which I give you um, maybe a few more details or just run through these achievements in this format um, with this month being the first time I'm doing this. So let's begin with the achievements for March 2021. The first one is the release of the LISC SDK 5.0.4 which came with an improvement on the message encoding on our peer-to-peer -peer layer. It was sometimes inconsistent and we um, yeah, straightened that out across the board um, and also fixed several bugs which we found in the last weeks and months on our beta net. We also released LISC 1.28.0 for desktop, um, which incorporates a stronger messaging and forcing the user to initialize their accounts. So essentially now you're not even able to access your account without initializing it. So you will have like a full screen um, initialization enforcement in place so that everyone sees and like sees the urgency of initializing their accounts. Um, next to that, we added several responsive design issues um, on smaller screens and also um, added the option for users to submit bug reports via email uh, right from the user interface. For LISC 2.0.0 Beta 2 for desktop, we also released a new version um, which adds the support for standby delegates uh, for our upcoming new DPoS consensus algorithm. Um, this release works only with the current beta net version 4. Um, the next release beta 3 will work with the beta net version 5. Um, it's not working with the testnet or mainnet either, for that you have the LISC 1.28.0 for desktop release. On the mobile front, we have LISC 1.4.1, um, which uh, fixes some bugs um, which were long present. For example, the blurred out account balance, which is now working properly again, as well as some visual issues for the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max. Um, we also did some um, security and performance improvements and updated all the, all the dependencies to the latest versions. So this is a definite must to update um, to make use of these um, yeah, changes we have introduced. For our developers, we added a new tutorial for the LISC SDK, um, which explains how to build an NFT blockchain application. Uh, it's very in-depth, so definitely make sure to check that out. Um, it provides you basically a complete overview of how to build an NFT blockchain application um, in which you are like creating an NFT and send it around, sell it for some um, tokens um, and it also comes with a complete user interface so it's really a great step into developing with the LISC SDK. As part of the LISC builders program from last year. We're now also interviewing some of the um, participants and in March we have interviewed um, Jure from the LISC Center Utrecht who has worked on several proof of concept blockchain applications. Um, definitely, definitely make sure to check that interview out in which he is talking more about his latest proof of concept blockchain application, the LISC ticketing system. Um, very interesting what he has to say, so make sure to, to read it. Since now, I think two times, I'm also doing a monthly AMA, um, which in this case stands for Ask Max Anything, um, instead of Ask Me Anything. So we branded that in my name, um, on which like I'm answering all kinds of questions you have to me about the list project, my personal life, our progress, marketing, strategies, whatever it is. Um, and yeah, I've done one in the beginning of March. I will do one very soon as well this week uh, on the 8th. Um, so 
we published the recap in a blog post format uh, and we'll do this obviously also for the upcoming one um, I guess on Friday so make sure to read the last one and then obviously also the one we're publishing in a few days a very big announcement for us at least was the list.js 2021 um, developer event announcement um, it will take place on the 21st of May and 22nd of May it's an all virtual event I already created a short video about the event itself in which I announced it uh, or at least said that it's going to be a virtual event and the reason behind that um, so we created a website for that on list.io slash list.js where you can um, yeah, get the preliminary agenda and see already confirmed speakers so check that out it's going to be a major event for us in less than two months super excited about that some major announcements will be revealed our new roadmap for the research team uh, the next steps in development um, more details about the testnet mainnet release um, as well as um, about our latest lisk sdk 5.1.0 release as well uh, which focused mainly on developer experience improvements uh, you're gonna see um, some videos of blockchain applications written by the community um, as well as get and that's the main focus of course a complete overview and detailed walkthrough um, into the LISC interoperability solution so register on Eventbrite get that ticket it's for free and make sure to tune in um, in March we also joined COPA I also created a video here for that um, COPA stands for the Crypto Open Patent Alliance um, which is essentially an alliance or group of blockchain companies and startups um, which um, promised to share their patents with each other and never use them for aggressive purposes but only for defensive purposes. Um, we decided against registering a patent for our interoperability solution however think that um, what the big corporations are doing in registering so many patents are hindering innovation and that's why we joined that effort to support it and if in the future we are going to have a patent um, to make it freely available but with that we are basically already stating and promising that we will never use any patent on our side for anything besides defensive purposes so we are um, making that promise already for the future just in case if we are having a patent going forward and the last announcement or achievement in the blog post is um, like the CVVC top 50 report like in the last um, editions we also um, were again ranked amongst the top 50 blockchain companies in the crypto valley in Zook where the Lisk foundation is registered um, super happy about that it just shows we're one of the major players on the market um, and continuously delivering on our promises um, the report is attached to the blog post make sure to read it to gain all the insights required about Zook based blockchain startups that's already it make sure to check out the blog post I will link it below in the description uh, it was a great month for us we had quite a few software releases major announcements uh, joined some alliances and um, yeah overall had a very positive month um, also our price showed that um, I think quite remarkably so looking forward to April it will be another month packed with news and announcements so make sure to uh, subscribe to my youtube channel uh, to stay informed on what's happening